Hello everyone, my name is Warren Shipley. I'm the current chairman of the State Match Committee. Uh, I'm also the Zone 2 Administrator in Newcastle. Uh, I've been playing bowls for upwards of 30 years and play out of the Soldiers Point Club. Yeah, I think Bowls New South Wales is uh, Looking positive going forward uh, with the new CEO, Tim, in place. It's doing a fantastic job so far. Uh, also coming out of the back end of COVID, uh, there's a bit of positive attitude around the bowling greens. And it's good to see the communication levels uh, have been lifted greatly. And um, look forward to the bowls newsletter every, every month. And I notice there's plenty of information in the last one with links to different events you can enter and what our board and our staff have been up to. Yeah, the, the challenges we've had um, in the past 12 months has obviously been COVID and coming out of that and trying to get our events played, which uh, we had to hold over for a while, but uh, fortunately we've been able to get all our uh, outstanding events completed, and we're now into another another bowling season, which is which is very good. Uh, coming to the end of it very shortly, in at the end of June, and we'll kick off again. Uh, but COVID has been one of the many uh, the many challenges we've had, and we actually planned our calendar around uh, finishing different events at different times across the state. So we knew that if COVID had a lockdown again. Uh, everyone across the state had completed the same event, but uh, now we're out the back of COVID. We've uh, we've changed that calendar a little bit to allow zones and districts a bit of freedom to set their own agendas throughout the year. The match committee um, has been reviewing all the uh, COPs, uh, conditions of play for the upcoming 23-24 season. Uh, we've also been working on a new event called Platinum Pennant, um, which will be for an invitation to the one grade sides uh, in New South Wales. If they want to be part of that, details will be forwarded to them very shortly. Uh, but the feedback we've been getting in regards to the COPs we've listened to, we appreciate the members giving us some feedback and We've reacted to that by making a few changes to our senior ladies championships, uh, reducing their games a bit um, due to the overwhelming feedback we had about that. I think one of the one of the difficulties we've had, and one of the uh, one of the best achievements that the match committee uh, has came to, is the combination of two. COPs, the conditions of play for both the ladies and the men, we've been trying to combine them. We're not there yet. Um, obviously, there was statements that nothing will change going forward with unification, but it's been very difficult to apply that when we have uh, two completely different uh, conditions of play for both men and women. So we're working through that. We're trying to refine them, and hopefully we will, we will have that refined for the 23-24 season and we can all be on a, a living plot level playing field, hopefully, and we look forward to unification going forward. Currently on the agenda, we, um, we are working through BowlsLink. Uh, obviously, it's a new system that we've, we've brought in, and it's a little bit more difficult in New South Wales because we're the only state that players carry a pennant grading going forward, so that has proved a little difficult with the system as it's used uh, across Australia. So we're working through that and it's been very good to see the amount of people that's uh, taken the bowls link system up in their area. We've still got a bit of training and a uh, few areas to go, but going forward, that should be good. Uh, we're working on a new calendar. Uh, we realized with COVID that uh, notification of events um, has been a little bit slow. So we're hoping to plan for the future and so people know where they're actually going to be playing well in advance. We realise that some of our, our demographic and our members like to travel a bit and they like to plan well in advance where they're heading as well. So we're hoping to have all them venues in place going forward so people will be able to plan 
12 to 18 months in advance about where they're going to holiday or play or enjoy our great game of bowls. Now, I'd just like to, in closing, just like to thank our bowling members for the, the people that have uh, contributed with their feedback for our events. Um, without that feedback, we don't know what the uh, the feeling is of our members out there playing the game. And uh, we certainly review all feedback that we get. Uh, most of it, obviously, is, uh, is uh, negative feedback because uh, if they don't like something, people will write in. But uh, feel free, if you're happy with the way things are going as well, to let, uh, let Bowls New South Wales and the match committee know that that what we're doing is working. And, and as I said, if it's not working, we, we certainly appreciate your feedback, which we have reacted to, as I said earlier, we've reacted with our conditions of play and a few changes. Um, so by all means, we understand that, uh, that Bowls Link is a bit clunky at the moment. We're working through that and we certainly pay attention to any feedback we, we receive. So keep that coming, enjoy your game and uh, hope to see you on the green very shortly.